Right, it's been about three weeks, not quite three weeks, but nearly three weeks since I filmed the last video about the van. Uh, and I thought I'd give everyone an update and just say uh, I'm really appreciative of everyone who's viewed the video because it seems to be going up, you know, the views on it. It took, it took me by surprise how many views it's had already. Comments are coming in, uh, people, you know, messaging me about it and about the van, what's going on still. Uh, honestly i really appreciate it i'm not in a great place myself right now with it all um to be honest for the causing me absolutely unbelievable amount of stress over it all um, and they're not willing to help uh basically this part i think it's in germany from what they're saying um we're coming up to nearly four months of having my van um in for repair um no one's really interested um sent them an email earlier just asking for um them all to talk to each other stellantis finance um ford themselves custom services um the dealership sandy cliff at nottingham and also the dealership that sold me the van john gross down in Lowestoft. uh i'm asking them all to talk because they're not talking to each other and dealing with the situation they're not listening to what i'm asking for uh they're not even actually answering the questions and another thing unfortunately yesterday the renault hire van that was in uh got broken into um basically the, the, the usual the peeling the lock and let themselves into the van now thankfully there wasn't actually much in the van those few boxes to be fair at the time overnight because i don't leave the tools in the van um certainly if i can help it i will not leave the tools in the van um problem is now um this renault is a ford rental van and ford are now saying because it's been damaged not by me um i now owe them 500 pound <laughs> so <laughs> I am absolutely being screwed over from all sides now. Been forced into this van because Ford had got mine. If it was my van, I'd have the option to repair it myself. Um, you know, do what I like. You know, that that would be my decision. But because it's not my decision on what happens now, Ford is saying that I have agreed to pay them five hundred pounds. I don't believe I've agreed. I actually don't remember seeing that terms and conditions. But I'm asking them for all that information as we speak um so basically yeah no further on no one knows when i'm actually getting my van back um they keep saying oh it should be by the end of the month uh i don't believe that's the case um i just don't know where to go with it i'm absolutely stressed out about it it's affecting me it's affecting my health it's affecting my work I'm, I'm, Ford, I'm begging you. I am absolutely begging you. You know, you are pushing me to the edge, and you know that. We've had conversations about this. Finance company, you're not, you know, protecting me. You should be doing more to help with this. Stellantis, you really need to get your finger out as well. You should all be talking, coming up with a solution. I've put two two suitable solutions on the table for you to deal with and you're not do, doing it I've asked you either give me a replacement van which I think would be the simplest solution just give me a choice of a replacement van then this whole thing can be put to bed or you give me a full refund on the purchase of that van but you're just not you're not listening I don't understand why you're not listening It'd be a simple way to sort this out. But in the meantime, you're intent on causing me a lot of distress and stress. And you're causing me ill health. And I'm begging you now, stop this now, once and for all. Enough's enough. You need to get this sorted now. Sandy Cliff, if you're watching this, please. I don't blame you, Sandy Cliff. But ultimately, you've got my van. And this isn't getting sorted. So at the moment, it lies with you. John Gross at Lowestoft, you sold me the van. You have a responsibility in this as well. Stellantis, the vehicle is on finance, so you, as a, as a consumer, you should be protecting me. 
Um, you have an interest in this too. And Ford, you have completely let me down. You absolutely have let me down on this. Coming up to four months now, it's absolutely not acceptable. I've given you some easy options to sort this out and you are not listening and you are not responding in the correct way and dealing with this. I mean, wh where else do I go? Do you know, what What should I do now? I, I don't actually know what the options are. I am just, I've just had enough. I'm sick of it. Absolutely. Like, <laughs> Do you know, it's not fair. It really is not fair. I mean, I think Ford's motto or something is, um, let's go to work or something, they're commercial vehicles. We're not getting to work here. No one's getting to work. Absolutely, absolutely diabolical. But guys, honestly, thank you so much for the response. Everyone who's watched this previous video, uh, I'll put a link down there if you've not seen it. Everyone who's commented, everyone who's reached out to me. Honestly, I do appreciate that, but I'm not in a good place right now. I just, I just need this sorting. And Ford, maybe, maybe you want to make contact with me and come up with a solution. You know, I'm putting that out there now. Come and put a solution together before I have to look at any other options that are out there. Maybe you could just resolve this. You know, you're making yourself look bad. You really are. You know, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Enough said. Yeah. I've had enough. I've absolutely had enough. <sighs>